What's up, family? What's up, family? I want to talk about another one about Spark. This will be my second and last one about Spark. If you want to see the first one, go check it out. It's called Psycho Spark, I think, part one. That's because I can't, I can't, I don't have much to say about Spark. I can't say much about Spark. You understand? Spark was a psychopathic dude, bro. And <laughs> some of the stuff I don't think you'd be interested in, but I could tell you by the time I got shot being with Spark, he was out of town. Now I have to go back and start because all this play a part. We was out of town and I got shot. For those who know, now I got two holes in my right leg. That's where it's from, my leg. Now I gotta go back to Black. Black is like, you can say my OG, my mentor, you know what I'm saying? And um, I have you wanna look at it. Mentor in the wrong way, I guess you could say that. But I met Black, Black from Black Stay Out of Town. When I went out there, before I met Black, I was on my way to being a grimy cutthroat dude, right? Like, like a gangster type dude. Yeah, y'all heard, y'all watched when gangster said he was gonna rob the plug because the plug didn't like his friend. Yeah, that's cutthroat. That ain't really gangster, that's cutthroat committed type grimy shit. And it's not really smart because here's why. And I was on my way to that. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna get into that. Here's why. Because you can make a lot more money you would have made by stealing that stuff out of him just by dealing with him. And number two, if them dudes got enough plug to, to be giving up all that, then they got organization. And if you would have did that, it wouldn't have left right there. You know what I'm saying? Then you got your brother that's a rapper, then you got all that. Oh, it would have been, it'd have been, it'd have been open season on the whole lap if it would have happened. So it wasn't a smart move. And guess what? I understand that move because that's how we rolled in New Orleans. We was cutthroat. A lot of us wasn't thinkers like that. You had the few that was, and them was the ones that was kind of like running shit, you know, in a big way. But I met Black, 12 going on 13. Been in juvenile, cutthroat shit, doing stupid shit, breaking in this, breaking in that. When I met Black, I'm gonna get into the story, but this plays a part of the story. When I met Black, I already knew his name because his name was Rock, name well known. Everybody knew him in the city he at. He well known, you know, stuff like that. So this dude was messing with the people I'm messing with. He's the kind of like the, the old, you, what you want to call OG of that. I'm gonna use them terms. He was OG of the stuff, one of the OGs of it. So I'm, I want to meet him. So when I finally seen him, and what I thought, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking I'ma see Lip Dragon, Totem 50, y'all maddest type nigga. Wasn't that. This was a dude who dressed nice. He the one showed me about Ferragamos and all this stuff and dressing neat and all this stuff. And he looked different. He ain't have, he ain't have all kinds of shit on, or, you know, you know, stuff like that. You know what you think you will see. Teardrop tattoos, none of that. You know what I'm saying? But here's the crazy part about it. He probably was more vicious than anybody I ever known of or met. When I mean by vicious, you'll want somebody like Gangsta, I'm going to say even me, bro, to be after you than black. And I'm not stretching it when I say that, bro. Now, I don't know them dudes personally, but even the ones I know personally, you know what I'm saying? If black got to get with you like that, it's going to be cruel. It's going to be vicious, and it's going to be no love. That's just how he was. And that kind of intrigued me. I was like, damn, the way this dude is and the way he look, you know, I found that more interesting. So he saw, and he took me up on his wing, treated me like I was a son, brother, stuff like that. Now, moving on to Spark. He didn't like Spark. He didn't like Spark or Yellow, but he really didn't like Spark. Like Yellow... Used to get in trouble. Yeller used to do dumb shit. But Yeller never really took it upon himself to go. How, how can I say it, man? Yeller didn't make moves. Boss moves. Yeller was on that cutthroat shit. He didn't make boss moves on his own. Spark used to do stuff like that. Black ain't like that. But we talking about two New Orleans cats. Even though Yeller really from New York. But he was in New Orleans most of his life. We talking about two New Orleans cats. And I'm going to get into that later. So, I remember him telling me I need to stop fucking with Spark. 
need to cut him loose, whatever, stop fucking with him. I remember he used to always tell me that. Well, this particular weekend, we up there. Spock was at a party. And um, they had a cat talking about me at the party. Bad. Basically saying I'm not even from there, which I'm not from New Orleans. Basically saying I'm not even from there. This nigga here think this, he think he this, he think he that. How in the hell he get that? How in the hell he, you know, shit like that. But he don't know he talking in front of black. I mean, not black, Spock. He don't know who he talking in front of. Spock should have called me, told me who he was, and we handled it from there. He didn't do that. Spock left, came back, and did what he do. Called me after. Dude ain't die. That's how he was able to tell dudes out the neighborhood who did it. Didn't really know Spark's name, but could he describe him? I'm mad. I'm living. Because I know it don't supposed to go like that. Especially with that dude. Because that dude was kind of like, he was with somebody. And it ain't supposed to go like that. Right? So we get into it. We had a meeting with Black. Black, you know, we, we get into it. Shit like that. We take care of it and stuff. It's over. Okay. The next day, that Sunday, we usually hang on. I'm not going to say the street. And the reason is because, you know, there's a reason why they fired half of the detectives. Because y'all niggas, with, with the way y'all niggas act, they can solve all their crimes on the internet. Now, all this stuff is solved. No, and Black dead, Spark dead. But still, I don't want nobody trying to, you know what I'm saying? So we hang out on a certain street. I'm, I'm sitting against my car. At that time, I was like 17, 18. I'm sitting against my car. I had like one of them Burgundy Delta 88s with rims, hydraulics and shit on it. That bitch was nice. This not LA. <laughs> Let me see that. I said, how dry did you think it's LA? Not LA. So, um, <laughs> Spark is probably 30 feet from me, if that, right? Now, I see this dude coming. I know the dude. Right? I know who he is. You know, the cat was under me. And usually you call him for one reason or whatever. But I know him. So he walking up. It's about 11 of us out there. Oh, I'm skipping something. Before that happened, Black was trying to get me to come to his. He had like a little office like a little building like an office building we had an office and a living room it was decked out studio then he had it upstairs he did he did real estate and he wanted me to come now he was like he used to make these deep dish pizza on his own man look i'm making my famous deep dish man you might want to come over man and, and let's get some drinks and all this now now granted black way older than me I used to I used to listen to him I respected him but I used to not listen to a lot of stuff he said that she used to piss me him off Nowadays, I'm older. I see everything he told me was real. But he wanted me to come over there and chill with him. I said, I'm coming. I never came. I'm hanging with dudes my age. Black was at that time 35. I'm 18, you know. So we out there chilling. I never went. So I see the dude coming. And I, I nod my head. I'm looking at him like, I'm looking at him like this. So I nod my head at him, you know. Because I see he focused on something. He ain't even see me. He, his eyes straight, right? So when he passed me up, he pass up Spark. Soon he pass up Spark. He does this. I don't know why he did this. He did something like he did something. Then he then I seen him come around, heading towards Spark way, or towards Spark and other niggas way. So when I seen that, I'm already looking at him. Here I come. So when I come with it, he must have seen me come. He starts shooting at me first. Then he turned back over that Spark. By that time, Spark. Went and went went behind a, tr a truck or something like that. And then he started shooting. But when he started shooting at me, I, I kind of, I thought I jumped off the car. I thought I jumped off the car. No, I probably fell off the car because I got hit right here. And when I fell off, I went underneath. Then I started shooting at his legs. He running, he gunning, he gunning. We looked for that dude three days. I hollered at um, Black. Black knew I was looking for him. Black knew I was looking for him. Yeah, Black knew I was looking for him. We didn't find him. It was weird to me. Now, I'm, now 
automatically I'm thinking because what happened at the party. Oh shit. So we get back to New Orleans. I tell Spark, look, you can't go up there for a minute. You can't go up there. I got to find out what's happening. What's up with that? We going to have to have some meetings because that dude, we know who he was with and all that type of shit and whatever. We never seen that cat again, ever again, ever again. That's the killer part about it. Now, I forgot to mention he was with someone. I ain't forget to mention I'm talking about him, so that's why I didn't mention it. He was with someone. It was two of them. He was two of them. Now, because the second dude was like not too far behind him. But by the time the, all the other stuff kicked in, the second dude was with him. Like, you know, he was like right by him. And by the time all everything kicked off. Well, that dude, I seen him when I was 35. 18 to 35, I seen him again a long time ago. I ran into him. Now, could you be friends with somebody at bloodshed? Nobody died, but I got shot, right? He didn't shoot me, but he was with. Now, I don't know if he started shooting after, because I was, you know. When I seen him, I seen him at a ball. I'm at the ball. I seen him at a ball. He walks in. I notice him. He didn't notice me. I thought he didn't notice me. So when I notice him, he walking. I'm thinking to myself, that's your boy. I could tell he looked damn near the same. You know what I'm saying? So it took me a while. So as I get up, I said, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Then I'm going to walk out, go to my car. Then I'm going to grab something. Now I'm 35. I'm, I don't know if I'm still on that bullshit, but I'm thinking to myself, I can't let it go. I think it was wrong when he shot me. You know what I'm saying? Well, soon I come out the bathroom. He was by the door as I'm leaving out. He said, man, you know that wasn't for you. I turned around. What? He said, man, I'm such and such, man. I know you smoke. You smoke a lot. I know you know that wasn't for you back then, man. And he said, before you even go think about what to say next, let me tell you something. That was from Black. What? He said, that was from Black. And it wasn't for me. It was for Spark. But he didn't say Spark. He said the little bright-skinned dude with the with the, the hair like mine. Because I had curly hair and he had curly hair too. Spark had the little curly hair. And I'm like, I looked at him. He said, man, that's way back in the days. We older now. We doing our thing. Nobody died. I ain't tripping. I hope you ain't tripping. I'm here with my girl. You know, like this. I just looked at him. And I'm thinking. I just said, you got that, man. You got that. And I left. I just said, you got that. And I left. But all this time, I had that in the back of my head there. But it never really stayed in the back of my head. Now, I couldn't say it was about the party. Maybe that was the pick of the litter. But Black never did like Spark. Black never really cared about somebody from out of town. I was different. See, my family and my dad's side of the family was from around there. You know what I'm saying? So, my dad's side of the family and all that was from around that area. Black ain't like the idea of somebody from out of town, you know, saying what he's saying. He didn't like that. And I can understand, because see, New Orleans is different. New Orleans way different, man. New Orleans, and, and just like Night Ward and Third Ward and 17 in the East and stuff like that is a way of life for us, that stuff be a way of life for them, like in L.A., Chicago, and other places like that, even Minnesota, even Detroit, that stuff be a way of life for them. You understand? And I even heard somebody on the internet say, man, how that nigga 40 some years old still talking about Crip? Even though we ain't talking about Crip, I'm just using an example. Well, nigga, the same way you 40 some still talking about where you from. It's the way of life for them. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't the way of life for us. That's why um, when you got, you now you have bloods here, but it's fading away. About 80% 80, 80 of it gone. Back in the days, you had a lot of Crips here that was living in New Orleans, but saying they was Crips. That joint faded away. Because it's not our way of life. You understand? But it's a way of life for them dudes. Forever, forever, ever. Like you can forever say you from the nine. Or you can forever say you from the third. Or you can forever say you from the yo. Or, or the magnolia. Or the melf. That's how it is with them and where you from. Wherever it is. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that was old spark, man. That shit was crazy. And um, 
<laughs> now, was that dude telling the truth? I don't know. I ain't even think about it, you know, because after I say I'm letting it go, I let it go. But I could see it, because Black did now. But I could see it. Black was something else, man. Black, uh, like I said, he was, whew, Lord have mercy, man. Let me tell you something. If I ever get a movie deal, I could fix it to the way it could be right. But Lord have mercy. You know what I'm saying? Lord have mercy. Especially about Black. Thank y'all for listening. One love.